This week, Luke comes back with his family and then leaves again. <laughs> Look at Amy, <laughs> surrounded by goats. <laughs> <laughs> we are also on Korean TV. I learn a new skill and a pig gets thrown against our car. Do you want to see any of that? Then keep watching. Hi, if you are new here, we're Sarah and Luke. Maltese, together for almost 25 years, but living in Portugal for the last five. Six years ago, unhappy and stressed, Luke said, If you die tomorrow, are you happy with today? And my answer was, no. So we sold everything and started this new adventure. You can catch up with what's been going on in previous videos. Our channel has been going for three years. Or you can start from here. Just a quick recap of what happened last week where Luke left me. Just to go on holiday with his family. And while he was gone, things were going smoothly. And then I emptied out the well by mistake by leaving a tap on. So I have been really, really careful with water for a whole week. But this week is a new week. The well is full and everything is good again. And I can also finally have showers again. So today, because I have no water worries, I decided to make paper. So I will fill you in on what happened last week while making, hopefully, blue paper with my scrap paper because it's been piling up. I want to do something with it and I also want to start our Etsy shop. While Luke's family were here, he wanted to show them a bit of the beauties that are around Castello Branco. So he went to a really beautiful lake. He went to, of course, Monsanto because we love boulders and Monsanto is famous for its boulders. And they also went go-karting among a few other places. And of course we wanted to show them some of our land too because it is beautiful and we decided to show them our picnic paradise and a little bit of the river which is now dry. And this is the craziest part, it was the end of July, in summer, in Portugal, 25 degrees. You have the thing for the oven. Yeah. Wow. It's beautiful, eh? That's fantastic. That's Luke's mother. So I can view some scale. <laughs> Luke came out of her, yes. <laughs> Once. I'm his granddad. Hi. <laughs> it's my nephew Jay. <laughs> so this is Luke's brother, Danny. Where? Oh, me. <laughs> ah. And Katya. Ah. His lovely wife. You want to say hello to someone, Katya? <laughs> Wait, so she gets lovely and I get Luke's brother. This is Luke's uh -oh. lovely brother. This, down. this is Luke's lovely brother, Danny. <laughs> and his wife. And his lovely wife. All right, then. <laughs> this is lovely Amy, our niece. Being cheeky now, you really like the apples. I was successful with the apples. <laughs> Look at Amy, <laughs> surrounded by goats. Give them egg, yeah. I have nothing. Hold them. I, I have nothing. Yeah. Did you just lick 
baby. <laughs> and hold them. I give them. Yeah. Give them on me. <laughs> really? Don't you eat my hand. You there. Oh. Daisy. No. Did you bite it? Yes, I did. She won't take it for me. Bastard. No, she, uh... the... no. Are you trying to eat the leaves on the bag? No. no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Do. She doesn't like saliva of humans yeah. or other goats. You did doing good. Really well. you, you're doing really I'm well. 70. I am 70, you know. This is walking. Who's playing with you, Molly? Who's playing with you? Oh, leave it inside. <laughs> He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you, Gummy. Oi! Oi! Gonna get you. <laughs> She's fast. So is Jake. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> Luke's parents were really generous with us and they treated us to so many delicious yeah, meals too. But wait, you haven't even met Luke's dad yet because he's really good at avoiding the camera. Oh, thank you. 
Bon appétit, I kept on Luke's chores for the next four days because it didn't make sense for him to do them as well. He was just too busy. So while the whole family was exploring the beauties of Castello Branco, me and Molly were in the garden. I was finally doing a little bit of weeding and Molly was doing some berry tasting. What is she doing? What are you doing, Molly? Molly, daddy's gonna be angry with you. Stop. Look at her just eating blueberries. Okay, stop. Molly, stop. Caught in the act, you naughty girl. So what are you doing here? You're eating the berries. <laughs> Everybody loves raspberries, eh Molly? And Molly thinks berries are very, very nice. <laughs> Don't get the fried girls. I'm gonna do this, okay? Ready? Remember a couple of weeks ago, a TV crew from Korea came to film a little documentary on our lives. That went public in Korea on EBS, on their EBS station, and we got to watch it. Luke found the station somehow, and we managed to watch it live as Koreans were watching it in Korea on our laptop. Right now, I am waiting for Luke to come back with his family. <laughs> oh, they came just in time and really in a hurry. Because <laughs> it's like five minutes and it's going to air. Quick! You made it! Here's Susan. Hello. Cinema's ready. The show is starting now! At the cinema. It was so nice watching it with Luke's mother because she was, uh, it, it shows she was really proud of what we're doing. We loved what they did with it. It is amazing. So Sunhan and Kyuha, if you are watching this, thank you so much for everything and for making us look really good on TV. But I wanted to mention that while they were here filming, we went, we did so many things. We did a lot of things on the land and we did a lot of things off the land. Once we went swimming in a really beautiful river with some of our friends. Another time we went to the market and another time we went to Nazareth and we met Alex. Remember the guy who helped us sort out the outdoor area before the guys came? We met, we met him in Nazareth and, and we had an amazing time with him. But all this, they couldn't condense into one 47 minute show. So a lot of it is not there. And I have done a little behind the scenes of when we went to see Alex in Nazareth. So if you want to check that out, it is on our Patreon. I can't show it to you on YouTube. And I do like putting out things on our Patreon that not everybody can see because it makes it all the more special when you support us there. A little bit of a thank you for how much we appreciate your support. And I'll put the link in the description below. And underneath this link, there's also a link for one of our friends, Cindy Vine. And I will tell you why I'm giving you her link. She's such a trooper. She's very hardworking. She gave us our kuni kuni pigs. But the reason I'm giving you her link as well is because she made the cut onto this little mini documentary that they did of us. And she is so sweet and so funny on it. Luke is coming with my little mixer. I think he fixed it. Awesome. 
So I soldered the wire for the first time ever. This so one? off and two screws. Okay. Don't run it for too, too long because okay. it was quite hot. Okay, but, it but I, fine. Okay, I hadn't used it for a while. Maybe it was in the sun. Maybe. What do you want, Maggie and Peppa? What are the Maggie and Peppa doing? They're going to be in my face. Maggie, you're whining, and the more you make a fuss about it, the more you whine. Hey. Hey. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, look who came here! Maggie and Molly! Mm, and Peppa's scared. waiting for hers! I really thought it was strange that it rattled so much, but Luke found two missing screws. Two loose screws, anyway. Just like me, <laughs> loose screws. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, these are drying way too fast in this hot, hot sun. So I'm gonna go and put them underneath some heavy books. What do you think, Molly? It should just peel off now. Let's see. Yes, it's not very straight. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what they look like after they're, they've been underneath some heavy books. So what am I going to make with these papers if they come out okay? I want to cut them and make bookmarks with some nice saying on them and with some leaves. We'll see how that goes. But I want to start selling them in our Etsy shop. Now it's not up and running yet. It's far from it for now, but I am doing a course on Skillshare, so now is the perfect time to mention the sponsor of this video. So thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Wow, girls, calm down. Pig fight. Watch the car, pigs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Peppa and Maggie, the car. They have a lot of little fights between them, but this one, this one she slammed you against the car, hey Pep, that wasn't nice what she did to you, Maggie. Oh no! Okay, where was I before the pig fight that you don't hear very often? Everyone's okay, don't worry, this happens very often. They fight over food, they're, they're sisters and it's friendly fighting. But she's never been thrown against a car before. <laughs> I hope she didn't dent it. <sighs> Along with all the other scratches we have. But anyway, let me get back to Skillshare for a minute because uh, Skillshare has changed my life in a very good way and it might change yours, so listen up. For those of you who don't know what Skillshare is, well, they are an online learning community where you can choose from thousands of courses on a lot of topics run by experts from all different walks of life. This is what I'm learning through Skillshare, how to open our own business and having a bit more financial stability. And the way we are going to try to do this, and I say try, is open our own Etsy shop and sell a few things that we make on the land. I am creative with writing poetry, for example, and making leaf pictures. And so I'm going to try out bookmarks. And to make bookmarks with leaves that we've had, we've grown on our land, I think that's pretty special. And I was thinking of writing something nice on the bookmark so every time you're using it it puts a smile on your face or makes you think so that's my idea so if you are looking to be your own boss start your own business maybe or take up a new hobby or learn a new skill you, you can do this on skillshare and i will leave the link in the description below and i will also leave the name of the course i'm doing because i am really enjoying it and learning so much and she's a lovely person her name is tiffany emery and i'm learning everything on launching my own etsy shop from brand basics to recording a listing video to pricing my things and SEO basics. Now that it covers a lot, I am not rushing this because I can't. I have to do it in my own time. This is why we chose this life, not to feel stressed and hurried. But money plays a big important part in staying here and living this life. So I have to get on with it a little bit. So if you guys are looking to do the same thing, head on to Skillshare and find out if there's a course for you. I can promise you there's definitely something for you in Skillshare. And that isn't all. The first thousand people to click on the link get one month free trial of Skillshare. So go on guys, what are you waiting for? Click on that link. You know you want to. Now speaking about a new skill, Luke's mother is really good at sewing and I really want to learn. So she was nice enough to spend a little bit of those four days that she had here teaching me how to sew.
Good grasshopper, good. <laughs> Okay. okay, you can have a bit bunchy there. It's, it's, it's any work it's, clothes? Yeah. Just work to... clothes? What do you mean? It's your best. My best clothes. <laughs> My wedding gear. <laughs> okay, let's stop. I think stop it's looking really check. good, eh, look. Yes, yeah, very good. Not bad for a first time. Let's see, what's, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> is it looking good? Yeah. Look. Thank you! You're welcome. <laughs> I'll be making you your first Yeah, send me present. Christmas present. Oh, uh, because you, cause you kissed me. <laughs> you know, you so kissing. Jealous. You're, You're so, so sweet. Jealous. No, she just likes kissing. Yeah. She, she likes Nana's to make it a body sandwich. Kiss Nana's <laughs> we, can't, we can't kiss me and Luke without her coming between us. I was so happy with how the first sewing lesson went. I think I can do this. If I need to sew a hem or fix some clothes, I got this. And if I want to learn anything else, then I always have Skillshare. On their last morning here, because four days passed so fast, Luke went to pick them up from the hotel and got them here to say goodbye to all the animals, me, and also to have some delicious pie for lunch made from our delicious goat's cheese. Molly is going to miss the attention for sure because she had so much attention from everyone and she was bouncing from one person to the other wanting to get touched. Jake and Amy love cats and Timmy was hardly here when they were here but on the last day he showed up and I think he was feeling a little bit overwhelmed because they wanted to touch him both at the same time and Timmy knows tricks but he kind of felt boxed in with them next to him but why I'm telling you this is I'm going to show you this clip because it's very cute. They are trying to make Timmy turn, which he knows how to do, and Molly is just doing it, but no one's noticing. Go around. Go around. Do one turn. the other way around. Oh, Timmy. Turn. Timmy. Turn. No, no, not Timmy. The daddy, daddy. You want me to Molly. Make... Do your nun array? Go. Nun array. Molly, down. Go, good girl. Go. Go. Nun array. Go to nun array. Not Tell her brain. <laughs> good, yeah. good, yeah. Good, yeah. Bag in the bag, if you want to get it. No, I'm all right. How are your pies? Good? Delicious. Very good. Where's my pie? That's yours, look. Bye. <laughs> I'm going. So now it's the end of those four days and it's it's time to say bye to Luke's family. Well, they're my family too, after 25 years together. And to Luke. And I will be seeing him in two days time. A huge thank you to Ray and Sue for all the delicious meals we enjoyed together. For getting us all the delicious snacks we missed from water and for getting me my laminator. Katya and Danny, it was so nice to see you again and have a catch up. And Jake and Amy, last time we saw you, you were only 9 and 11. And it was so nice to see the beautiful, intelligent and funny people you have become. Until we meet again.
I thought I'd just do a bit of a different video, like making paper while telling you the story. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. And now my paper has been underneath a lot of heavy books and heavy weights. For a few hours now, Ooh, very nice. Wow, I love it. Beautiful paper. The reason why I decided to make paper today is because Sue and Ray got up my big laminator with them from Malta. When we went down to Malta a few years ago now with the car and we got all our things up. This did not fit. I'm telling you, the car was chock-a-block and there wasn't even place for a pack of cards. So a few things had to stay home, some things we gave away and other things we were just hoping that someone would be kind enough to put them in their luggage and we were, so thank you very much Sue and Ray for getting it. I would like to mention that only 1% of our views comes from people who live in Malta. If you are Maltese and you are watching this, leave us a bonju in the comments and let us know which part of Malta you're from. It will be great to have some more people who follow us from our own country. So if you guys enjoy what we're about and you want to share us with friends and family, please do. And I put my face between you two. Let's see, move, move. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, I think I'll have a nap, I think, with you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, but before we go, I'd like to say hello to someone special, a librarian from Malta who loves our channel. Thank you so much. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Hey, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Hi. Hi, Joyce. <laughs> hello, Joyce. I would like to say a huge thank you to these people for adding to our fund. Thank you, Kathy, Dirk, Marcus from Go Kayak Greece. Yes, Marcos, I must always close the taps. And Ruth, we will get treats for everyone. And also, welcome to our channel members, Claire. Thank you for choosing to support us, guys.